Hello everybody, I'm Dark Matter Luigi and welcome back to another exciting episode for my let's play for the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. In the last episode, we finally finished off the Great Bay Temple and we did a couple extra things like get like turn into straight fairies and also did the Oceanside Spider House. Now we are gonna do some side quests. Yay! Hooray for side quest! And I'm actually gonna get out, get out the Zora mask because we need to. So I'm not sure which one's which. I think this is the right place that we need to go to. Um. What? I'm pretty sure that this is the place where we need to go. Okay, this is just weird. What? Why? <laughs> what is this? I don't get this at all. Are they... Oh, I, I think I know. Never mind, I get it. I think apparently after you, um... Save the Great Bay Temple... Finish the Great Bay Temple, they will be over there now. I was, I was just really confused, because normally they're over there, so... I guess I'm gonna have to save that until later. Wow. Alright, so there is a couple more things that we can actually do. Because I want to get these out of the way real quick. We're actually gonna head off to Clock, clock Town. And we are actually gonna go this way. I think. Think so? Nope. Wait, no, it's not. Wrong way. Whoops. Okay. Yep, this is the right place. We actually have to go over, like, make the day into nighttime. Even though it's already going to be nighttime, I'm going to make it go to 10 o'clock, because that's when we need to be at this milk bar place, because there's something that we can do there. And we actually have to have the... Romani's mask here. So, uh, oh, you're a member. Please come in. Yeah, I'm totally a member. All right. So there's this Toto guy here. What we're actually gonna want to do is get on the stage and talk to him. I wanted to talk to him. There we go. We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to I'd like to do a sound check, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you. Could you help me with a performance? Yep. Okay, you play the ocarina, right? Go stand under the center spotlight. Alright. Okay, play your ocarina like this. A, Y, X, Y. Seems pretty legit. Okay, that fe that feels good. And music moves the heart. <laughs> Number one. Okay. What feels good? That wretched, senseless racket? 
And, uh, Gorman, leader of the traveling troop, was added to your notebook. And now we have to be a, uh, Deku now. Come on. There we go. Could you help me with the performance? Sure. Oh, you play the pipes right. Go stand on under the front left spotlight. Well, what? Oh, it's this. <laughs> I don't know why. For some reason, I thought it was uh, the top one. Okay, now play your pipes like this. L Y R X Y. Okie dokie then. Kinda bland. Okay, that feels good. What feels good? They pretty much just say the same thing. All right, now let's get out our deck. I mean, a go on mask and do the same thing. Pretty much, you play the drums, right? Go on. The now this, I don't. This is what I don't get. This is they should have like a very like a lot bigger like circle for him to be on. But whatever. Let's do L L L R L L L Y. Do 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 do. do. Sounds a little bit better, but not too much. Uh, Okay, now all we have left is the Zora Mask. Alright, so stand on the right. A L R A Y R L A X R Y A X Y R. Wow. All right, now this is what I'm talking about. Swag. Bravo, that was the best. Yay. That, that melody. That melody. It brings back so many memories. It's their old standby, Ballad of the Windfish. That's the song that members of the previous generation of the Indigo Ghosts made famous. I en entered the show business because I heard this song at the Carnival of Time long ago. By doing performances, I thought maybe I'd, maybe I'd get to meet the singer of that song. The only one, the one you heard singing must have been the original Lulu, mother of the current lead singer who's also named Lulu. So her daughter is singing now? Is that so? I'd like to hear that. I'm sorry I booed you. Please take my mask. And we get the Chupe Leader's mask. This mask was so sad it could even it could put a tear in even a in, in a demon's eye. And we finish this quest. Hooray! All right. So that's all that I wanted to do with that. And, uh, yeah, I totally have enough rupees. We're actually going to buy ourselves a powder keg because we need to head to Romani's ranch real quick because remember a, a while ago when we tried to do this doggy race thing and we failed miserably? Well, we are actually going to do that again. And hopefully not fail this time. Yeah, 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 I'll buy one. Alright. So... Yeah, we're actually gonna get also get some money from the bank. Because we're gonna need to be like betting money and stuff. So let's withdraw about 100 rupees. That seems enough. Okay. Wait, hang on. Did I read that right? Wait, 
Um, I didn't actually see how much rubies I actually have in my bag. For some reason, I thought I read it, it said 105 rubies, and I'm pretty sure I don't have that much rupees, and I have more than that on in the bank. I don't know why I read that wrong. But whatever, let's just get out our powder keg and let's do this thing. Stand back! Guy, I don't want you to get hurt. Get out our powder keg and it will explode. No, I don't. There we go. Waiting, 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 and explosion! I love explosions, don't you? Alright, now let's head over to the doggy race track thingy. Thingy majig. Alright, there we go. What? Are you serious? Uh Of course it's morning. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to go back to the first day. Alright, now it is done on the third day, and we can actually do things in here now. And we're gonna want to equip our Mask of Truth. Alright. What do you want to do in a day like this? This is, this is Mama Yu's... Do, yeah, yeah, Mama Yu Yan's doggy racetrack. Didn't you know that? Do you want to better do, try a dog race? The minimum bet is 10 rupees. Alright, then first go in and fetch the doggy in that you think will run the fastest and bring it here. Alright, so pretty much, let's, we're gonna just try and find the dog we think will do the best. Uh, nope, that won't work. I feel like I'm good with that. Nah, that sounds a little bit iffy. Okay, I'm gonna try this. And the best thing to do is, like, um... Bet, like, the most rupees you can actually bet for there to be a chance that you can win this. So, let's bet, like, 90 rupees. That sounds about right. Okay. Come on, doggy! You can do it! Make me proud! Make me proud, doggy! Come on! You can't do it. You're getting there. You're getting there. And... Yes! All right! Awesome! That is the best! Well, take me for a walk and, and call me Spot. You took first place. First place! You went triple. That's the amount of, of your bet. That's 270 rupees. And nice going. Your overall winnings fall into the 150 rupee or, or more category. So you get a bonus prize too. And that's another heart piece. All right. Win big at the doggy race. Cool. Yay! No, I'm done here. All right. I'm I'm trying to think if there if there's anything else that we can actually do. So I think we we are going to. Go over back to Clock Town and turn in our rupees and go back to the first day because we basically need to do that. So let's just turn in our rupees, deposit, 
There we go. What? We got a lot of rupees. Not. We got like five rupees. That's barely anything. Oh well, let's just go back to the first day. Let's not even worry about that. First day, we go! Onwards! <clears throat> Dawn the first day! Alright, so, before anything else, uh, the way the canyon is to the east gate, I know, I know. Let's slow down the time, first and foremost. Alright, slowing down. And now, what we're going to do, I believe, is go over to the Zora Cape because now we can do something something that I wanted to wanted to do in the beginning of the episode but I couldn't because I've already I've already like pretty much saved the like defeat the dungeon but now everything's back to normal so we can do what we wanted to do Alright, let's get out our Zora mask. So, let's check inside here. Yeah, 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 this is Evan's room. Now, what you want to do, you can talk to Evan, but I think you should use the hook shot, because you can hook shot onto this tree, and there is actually some. Notes for us that we can only read in uh, as a Zora. The cow, my diary. The day Jaffas and I had a jam se sim session, he was a little rough around the edges, but he writes great riffs. Here's what I played. Today I had a little, little, little I had Lou listen to my session with Jaffas. She seemed to like it a lot. Lou is a pretty great girl after all. Today I had another jam session with Jaffas. Even when Evan was in a bad mood because cause the two of us are right in songs on our own. Evan called me over this morning. It was something about Lulu. He was in a real rush. I wonder what it could be. By the way, it seems my lucky color this week was is green. Okay. Zora Swan Song. Oh, that's cool! Like on the bottom, it gives gives us the notes like that we need to play so we won't forget. That is very helpful indeed. I will really use use that to my advantage. All right, so here is the pause. So what is the thing again? Um, L R Y L. Huh, you wanna have a jam session? Try following this phrase I wrote on your guitar. Um, I think I messed up. Uh, yeah. That was weird. Do I have to, like, repeat that song? I Ugh, I have to... I'm really bad at this. Mm, L-R-Y-L. Okay. Come on! L-R-Y-L. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. Ah! 
There we go, finally! Oh wait, hang on, um... It's... R, Y, X, R. There we go. I just had to look up something real quick, because I didn't know it. We got it, we got it, here, we got it, here we go! We're gonna play a nice jam tune. Oh yeah. <laughs> Everybody's jamming. That's good. That's got a good feel to it. Even Evan should like this, but he's so proud. He we said the the fact that he wrote something on his on our own. I don't think he'd even let the others try it out. All right, we finally got that done. All right, what do you think we should do? I don't know, man. Now we have to go over here. Alright, let's go and see good old Evan. Now listen very closely to this song. You might recognize it. it it's actually the death music on the original Legend of Zelda game. Kind of a bit of interesting trivia. Right, I'm going to look up again the song. Wait, hang on. How is it? Did you get your eggs back? No. No, I, I need to... Oh wait, hang on. Do I need to be a... normal kid? Or do I just need to actually play it? Because normally, like, there would be, like, an actual thing. Huh, these are some interesting tips. Okay, I'm just gonna try it out. So, you play Y, Y, R, L, L, R, Y, L, X, X, R, 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 Y, X, R. What? I think I'm pretty sure I'm doing this right. Uh, what about this? What? I I know I have this. What is wrong? I need to talk to him though. Oh my goodness, this is so messed up. I don't get this at all. You're supposed to play the song for him, but it's not working. Uh. K. 
Okay, hang on guys. I need to actually look at this real quick. I'm doing what it says that I need to do. This is just... go finally huh that song hmm it works it works it works so sorry that took a long time guys I, I I'm just not like this is not an easy thing to do for me so I had to look it up so sorry if there was a little bit of a random pause Yeah, he's just gonna say that he made it up for himself, and that's kind of wrong, but whatever. Not bad. That's a pretty good song I just made up. You've got a good sense of melody. We'll play my new song at our next show. Take this as, also as thanks. All right, we assembled a new heart container. Swag. You don't think I'm stealing your song, do you? Um, I think that's exactly what you're doing, good sir. It's not right to steal things. Not right at all. Okay, so I think we're gonna warp. I don't act actually know where to warp to. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember something now. I remember. I remember, before we end the episode off, there is one last thing I want to get. One very last thing. We are actually going to... No, not this way. We're going to head over here now. You're also going to need the Goron's Mask, too. Obviously. So, let's just keep rolling and rolling, and there we go. Now you're going to want to stop here, because there is a place with a heart piece. And I think you need the Lens of Truth, maybe? Yep, I'm right. You're going to need to go a little bit ahead, though. Oh, crap! Dang it! Are you serious? Ha! Ah, of course, I'm having troubles today. Okay. If you want to be like this, fine game. Now I can finally do this. Oh, of course I have to go a little bit farther. There's actually some platforms, like invisible platforms you can actually jump on, and you again need to be very, oh my gosh, that was just like, actually really close. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you're actually gonna want to play the Scarecrow song that you played. I'm pretty sure it's this. It doesn't say anything! I know I have the... The, uh... I know I have it. I think you need to be a little bit closer, maybe? Like, about here? K 
Because I'm pretty sure this is what I've laid. I, I don't know. This is just really confusing. So you know what, guys? I think I'm just going to end this episode off for right now. So I'm sorry I didn't get very much done. I just got a few, like, side quests done. Like, only a couple heart pieces. So hopefully I'll get a lot more progress next time, guys. So... If you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment. And if you, and if you want updates on my channel, be sure to join my Twitter. It'll be in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask 3D. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.